introduce you to you first. Fighting out of the red corner, representing S1 Gym, here is Dan Kondaki. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Team Shriver, here is Main event of the evening, here we are. Niels Van Nord from Team Schreiber versus Tan Dan Koneke from S18 Gym. A light heavyweight fight. Niels got a slightly better and more perfect record. As we said, Dan has fought incredibly tough on home before. Yeah, Dan's had fought a high level of competition. <laughs> oh, nice solid record. Yeah, Niels looking very calm and collected. He's taking the center. And on the jab. Neil seems to just fill his opponent out, just taking his time. Rob Clyde's a little bit hesitant at the moment. And they're just feeling out their distance. <laughs> Close. Lovely grazing Who will commit first? Dan has. Dan he's for a double, double, double leg. And he's got the double. He turns the angle there and he's going to get him flat on his back. He's going to get psychic draw and up against the fence as well. If he can break down Neil's arm like he is, he's going to get Neil on his back. He's just going to drive up and take that shoulder control as well. And he puts it flat to the man. Looking for a sleep. Look at that. Not even psychic draw like Scrambling up, but he's on top of him. Using the cage very well though for his get ups. Yeah. Be careful not to give his back up there. Yeah. Check out his reaction. They've got a job getting down to bring him away off. Hump up now. Neil's keeping himself fairly safe at the moment. Short elbow's coming in. Very hard to defend against when he, when he pushes like that. Nah. He's using a, lo a, lo a lockdown there, which isn't such a great idea sometimes because it just keeps your opponent on top of you. Stuck he's got the now, so he's really gonna start yeah, let go that one. Yeah, let go that one. I prefer to see him try and get his hips up to the left and try and come out there. Yeah, yeah. someone's cut. A lot of blood coming out as well. I'm assuming it's Nils in the position. Strong period for Dan here. It must be one of those elbows, as you said. He's looking strong. He's posturing up as well greatly now. He's showing what he's made of here. He's got a dark stroke as well. Can he close up? And he better get the trip tail. Oh, he's got up and he's giving it up. Great take up on here. Yeah, very good. Dan was very disappointed with what, what he did there. He's going straight for the rubber guard. He's trying to keep Annie's nail going from the bottom as well. And he's going to be looking to open up that cut even more. I'd imagine Niels will try and slow it down for a moment just to so gain, gain his composure. He'll know he's cut, cut. It, may, it may be deep, I don't know. No, he can't knock over right now. No. He's he just needs chest of red. He just needs to establish himself. I feel like he's going to get swept if he's not. Keep top control. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think the cut's behind his ear, so it's not too bad. Not bad. I never like hands behind the front back. I always got to have hands on top. Much better now, man. Start clearing his head, posturing up. He's going for a high guard there, threatening things. Yeah. He went rubber guard straight away as well, Dad did. He's got it, he's got the other hand. That's so deep. Dan's gradually getting caught with a few shots here. He could probably work backwards towards the cage and, and try and posture up from there. He's definitely right, yeah. He'll get up from Dan and uh, swing the fight back into his favour. He's trying to feed a triangle. He's trying to use that triangle hold just to get an elbow off as well. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Tie up an arm. I think Nils is just trying to see the round out on top here and just uh, balance things out a little bit. And then he's leaving that arm. He's got a nice pass by Nils. Got a half guard now. He's going to dance on Kevin. He's going to start getting more and more damage by him. Just side choke coming on as well. Oh, yeah. He's answering the phone. He's just taking it from the bench, but 
just want to go through. It may not be good enough. And then this actually gets... It's fine, yeah. Dan's still there, he's still there. Dan's still fine, it's a tight choke. He's still there. Bombs up from Dan. But he can't let him pass there. I know. Amazing hook by Dan. He's catching that. Some sort of leg drop there. The ball, it's not a hill hook yet. And it's still worth for the hill, but as Dan has put it on the bottom half, the hill is actually closed at the moment. He won't be able to get a good goal. Approach to the end of the first now, from the interesting first round. Dan's going to get top position. And he's full mount, full mount. Looking for the finish. If he does get this finish, he's definitely won the round. It'll be a big win if he can get this. He's planned out. He is laying it heavy on right now. Looking for a finish. He's not doing enough to finish it. Dez hooks him, flying him out. Flying him out, he can really just start punching out. Nils is vulnerable. Nils, I think, moment had enough. He's had enough. Big win for Dan. Great finish by Dan. Oh, God, I, 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 wasn't there. I worked that pretty well. You went All right, well, me and Ollie, that is it for tonight, I believe. And uh, that's all the fights done. Yeah, that's the final fight. It's been a pleasure, John. It's been an absolute pleasure, Ollie. Thank you very much for having us, everyone. A great night of fights. Um, we are surrounded by blood on our table right now. <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a show of how exciting the fights have been tonight. It's it's a, a little medieval at the end, yeah. <laughs> Certainly did. But um, it's been a pleasure, and I hope to do it again soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 4 minutes 50 seconds in the very first round as our referee Neil Hall calls a stop to this contest, declaring your winner by TKO.